The first Christian martyr, Stephen, was stoned to death. But before he died, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. So what caused Stephen to be so forgiving while he was being murdered for his faith? The answer is in one six-letter word, G-O-S-P-E-L. The word gospel comes from two English words meaning God's spell. So when people saw the followers of Jesus and listened to their words and watched the way that they lived to bless others, they exclaimed, look how these Christians love one another. Look how they love us. They must be under some kind of spell. So they called it God's spell. It was not a wicked spell caused by a witch. These spirit-led people seemed to have magical powers to transform people's lives. Instead of evil, they did good. So God's spell works to break the spell of the evil one, setting people free from slavery to the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. If you are under God's spell, then what you do is not out of your control. You are not in a trance. You are actually have the, the spirit of self-control and are in your right mind. People can't explain it. All they know is that when someone is transformed like this, they are under the influence of those words that come from the holy book we call the Bible. Drunkards become sober and demon-possessed men and women are set free. Children with fevers are healed and become healthy and calm. And all who meet these converted souls sense peace where before there was bitterness and strife. So once you are healed and you have peace instead of chaos in your life, you know that God really does love you. You can completely trust Him. And once you understand God's love for you personally, it awakens love in your own heart. We love Him because He first loved us. So true love awakens true love.